Hi, so this video is going to cover Blackboard. Blackboard is our mass communication tool that we have access to, um, and it's a great way to send out um, texts and emails and phone calls to all of your students and parents, or just certain classes, or even just certain students. You can kind of um, select and choose the students that you would like to send messages to. So this is a another tool that we can use during this virtual learning to reach out to the students, particularly those that we have not um, heard from yet. We can also use this as a reminder. So if you have a Google Meet that is coming up, you can send out a reminder to like kind of um, try to encourage engagement with that. Um, and then it's also a really great tool to use to kind of for those um, positive messages too. I have to say like one year I did this on after the first week of school, I sent out a mass message just saying, hey, it was really great to meet you. And I can't tell how many students came back the next on like Monday. And we just were like, I never get positive phone calls. So let's also remember like to like send out those positive messages to our students as well. So to get to Blackboard, you scroll down on or first go to the staff portal at staffportal.salinasuhsc.org. And it's this BB mass communication. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Now, this is one of the few sites that is not integrated with Clever or Google. So that means we do not have like an easy, like we can't just like click all the things to get in with our account. So uh, it's okay if you forgot your password. I totally forgot my password trying to sign back into this. So uh, your username is going to be your first dot last name. So for me, Amber dot Dodd. And then your password, you probably had um, access to this a long, long time ago, but it's probably been a while, at least it was for me. And so it's really easy, you just click on forgot password. And then with forgot password, it will um, send you a code and you'll use that code as your password and then it will prompt you to create a new password. So it's super simple. Like don't feel bad for getting your, for, for getting your password. Um, it's all right, it happened to me. Um, but once you have it in, go ahead and click sign in. And from there, we're going to create a message. Now here I can see a couple of different things. So this is kind of my home tabs. So I have my home, my messages, and then also reports. I can have an inbox, an outbox, a groups. So uh, the outbox is like where like if you have sending messages like waiting to be scheduled. And then we also have message tracking. So this will actually keep track of um, who's opened it or who, if a phone number is not working any longer, that's one way to get the message tracking and also the report there. Um, from here, the very first thing you wanna do, and this is because I always forget this, is to type a subject. So you can see it's waiting for me already. So if I click on that, um, I want to put the test message. And then I can here, this is where I can select both students and parents. So if I want everybody, I can just click on all classes and it automatically includes all my periods and their parents. So I'm gonna scroll down to see all of them. Um, or I can just select certain classes. And when I select those uh, three dots here, it's, I can also select certain parents and students. So if I only want like those that I have not seen um, or heard from yet, I can select those if I want to send out just sort of a select few. That's where I would do that. From, uh, let me move my face over. From here, I can also have the start time. So this is the, the time that it will start sending out to messages. So it's automatically set to 5.30 because it's assuming after school hours, kind of the evening time, but you can change that as well. Um, just note that they cannot be sent at night. So from 9.30 p.m. to 8.30 a.m. is like no, no go times. So just uh, you can select a different time if you would like. And the other thing that's important to remember, this is more so when we're back in the classroom, is that there's saved messages. So there's kind of some default messages by category. This was really great and helpful when I was in the classroom. However, we probably want to um, write our own stuff because a lot of these don't fit our needs anymore, like class behavior and things like that. So you can um, look at those for right now, but just keep in mind that we probably are going to have to write our own messages for this um, time being. From on this left, 
or right hand side here is our messaging system. So we have emails, we have text messages, and we have phone calls. So all of them work pretty much the same. So if I click on hi, um, I can do that for all of them. Let me move this to a better slot. So I can click on this. With email, I also have this option for insert email template, which I'm gonna talk about in just a, a, like, a little bit later. Um, I don't wanna do it now, but just note that there's this email template here that's a really cool feature. With email too, we also have the more feature, and this will give me a full editing rights. So just like you would see in a Google Doc or in a Word document, and here I can also attach links and um, insert photos as well. Then I have my text message here. So I'm gonna complete this message a little bit more. Um, oh, also with the email, I forgot to mention that down here with this paperclip, we can also attach things from your computer. So I can attach images directly into it as well. Moving on to our text features. So this little bubble is our text feature box. Now I don't have to like copy and or like retype everything. If I have a message, if I'm sending the same message all in all three ways, I can just go in this little right hand corner and click on this and I can copy this from the text um, or from the email. So it'll ask where I'm copying the content from and I can just copy it over and then I don't have to retype everything. This is another great way to make sure I'm reaching as many different ways as possible too. Same thing with our phone. I can click on the phone and if I want to copy that over, I go to this little double document here and I can copy it over from the email and now I don't have to do anything else. With phone, you have a couple of other options as well is that you can actually record your own voice. So you can call me to record um, where it will call you so in like um, 30 seconds, it will call you in and you just answer and it will ask you to record. You can call in, so it will give you a number to record. Um, as you can see the instructions here, you can upload an audio file. So if you already have something from your phone or your Chromebook, you can upload it already. You can just use the text to speech. Now keep in mind, it will sound like a computer reading, but you can do text to speech as well, or you can use the microphone directly on your headset or on your computer. Um, as well to get that audio. I would mention or like would advise and recommend that before you do anything that you click on the text to speech one and you can send a test call and so this will send it directly to your phone. Um, the reason I suggest that is because my school was listed um, in this recording as El Puente and I'm obviously not an El Puente teacher so if your school is listed or is stating that it's from somewhere else make sure you call 7070 and have them remove all of your schools. Um, what was the problem with mine is that I had every school associated with my account with Alisal being the main one, but it was still interfering and coming up as El Puente. So just have them remove all of the other schools besides Alisal. And I know there was some like weird stuff going on with El Puente, like, or people getting messages from El Puente. So just double check this before we do anything else. Now, a cool feature about this is that there is a translation built in. So if I go down to languages, I can see the different languages here. I can click on the, the language and it automatically translates. And you can see this is my email for Spanish. And then it translated for text automatically and for phone as well. So kind of a cool feature is that you can do the translation itself and then do for English. Um, when I was sending these messages, I would send it, uh, or so go ahead and um, you'll have those translations with it. Now I mentioned the template feature, so I'm in my email box and I'm gonna go to this funky uh, box thing up here. So if I click on the box, and here it actually brings up templates. So this is really nice if you want to send out class newsletters or anything like that. So I have some a couple of newsletter templates, an event template, save the date, letterhead, paper, postcard. There's some app ones there too. Um, kind of play around with it. And then when I want to send it or to use it, I'll just scroll down and click use. 
and from here I can edit uh, to whatever I want it to say and kind of change it um, as well. Now keep in mind, remember you have this more thing on this email and from here you can change it further. So kind of that's full editing, right? So adding your own images and things like that you have with it. When I'm ready to send, then I'll go ahead and click send and it will go through. Now I'm not sending this to anybody so it won't actually send it, but um, you can send it and it will go uh, it will go through and it will start messaging um, your students and parents at the time that you select it. If you have any questions at all about how to use Blackboard, um, feel free to email me, to reach out to me. Um, as any program, it takes a little bit of playing around to get used to. So just kind of um, play around with it um, until, yeah, and and have fun with it. So anyways, I hope you have a great and wonderful rest of your day.